Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Billy McCluskey. Welcome to RB Racing League, Season 1. This short sportsroom video is to inform you of the rules of the league and introduce you to the drivers you will be watching over this season. The rules. The season is six races long. Each race has five laps. The track is picked at random, along with the weather. Yes, that's right, this league is so powerful they control the weather. There is a one-shot qualifier to determine where the drivers start on the track. If the driver achieves pole position, the driver receives one point. The driver's car assists are set up, depending on the driver's abilities. In the race, normal racing rules apply, with warnings and penalties. Where it is different from other leagues is, if a driver picks up two warnings in a race on the third warning, they will be deducted one point from their final score at the end of the season. At that point, every warning after is also minus one point to the driver's end of season score. When a driver picks up a penalty, they are deducted one point straight away, and for each penalty after, this will also be removed from the driver's end of season score. This is reset at the beginning of each race. How the race is scored. First place is awarded 20 points. Second place receives 15 points. Third gets 10 points. Fourth place, 7 points. Fifth place, 5 points. And even sixth place is awarded 3 points. The final point to be awarded each race is driver of the day, which is worth 1 point. Okay, let's take a look at our drivers. The Russian, also known as Matt. After leaving the army where he had reached the level of general, the Russian was recruited by the Russian mob as an enforcer. He was in the Russian mob? And he's in this league? Okay? It looks like he would eventually spend some time in Mexico helping to expand the Russian mob drug industry. Drugs? So he was in the mob and helping them sell drugs? And this guy is in the league? Wait a minute. It looks like he ended up being hunted down by the federal police and spent two years in federal prison. Thank God for the feds. Wait, there's more? After getting out, he began a new life in America, taking part in the Formula Dirt scene and eventually being signed for an open-wheel team. Well, I guess he's in the league then. Let's take a look at him in action. Okay, so who's the next driver? The Mexican, also known as Lee. As a young teenage boy, the Mexican watched all the Fast and Furious movies, and he believed cars could do amazing things. Well, if he's watched all the Fast and Furious movies, he'll believe anything. But when he found out his father was a drug kingpin, his look on life changed. More drugs? Well, I guess it was Mexico. Let's read on and see how this turns out. Five months after turning 20, his father was gunned down in the streets of Mexico City. What the f***? Gunned down? Just in the street? Things have to get better for this kid. Him and his mother had to go on the run. No kidding? Where did they end up? Wait, it's gonna be America, isn't it? Let's read on. Which took them to America, the land of opportunity. Told you. In America. The Mexican became a big name in underground street racing. That's where the Fast and the Furious movies helped. Until one day he was spotted by Manuel Rodriguez, the owner of a small Mexican family-run, open-wheel team, who signed the Mexican on the spot. Well, that's good. Okay, let's see some Fast and Furious action.
Let's see who our third driver is. After winning the gold medal for swimming at the Olympics as a teenager, now we're cooking. Some real talent. The French woman, also known as Sandra, left the pool and wanted to try something different. Really? She just won a gold medal. Turning to IndyCar in America took everyone by surprise. Well, that's okay. A lot of women are in IndyCar. What's the surprise? Let's see. As she didn't even have a driving license. Surprise! So what could go wrong? Let's find out. But it did not take her long before she had won her first race and then two more followed. Well, sh Like I've always said, women drivers are the best in the world. But that's where the mystery begins, as she left her IndyCar team before the season had even ended and vanished for three years. I wonder why she vanished. She is now driving for this league. Right, let's see some action. Okay, the next driver in our lineup is the American, also known as Glenn. It was three years ago that the American was flying high in stock car, winning five out of ten races in his rookie season. Wow, this driver sounds like the real deal. An upstanding citizen. Let's see how his career blossoms. Then it all went wrong as he was found in a Las Vegas motel with a bag of cocaine, a hooker called Crystal, and a male goat. What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. It says here I can't name the goat because of legal reasons. Well, let's see what happens to him. After the scandal rocked the stock car community, he was sacked from his team. No sh**. He went into hiding. Well, wouldn't you? But after joining this, League can the American start his redemption? Well, that's hope so. Okay, roll the footage. I hope this ends soon. The next driver is the son of a Formula One world champion, the Briton also known as Jack. Now we're getting somewhere, the son of a Formula One world champion. He's worked hard to emulate his father's success in the world of motorsport. When he finally made the big time in GT racing, everyone said that he would be as big as his father. Well, you would hope so. All them strong genes. Let's see how he did. Then things took a turn for the bad, and it was found that he had been smuggling drugs across the world using his GT team. Really, there's just no more words. Let's just get through this bio. The Briton was arrested and did time at Her Majesty's pleasure. So he should. After three years in prison, the Briton is now back in motorsport. Well, let's see some of his footage. Right. This is the sixth and last driver. The Cypriot, also known as Sam, was a high-flying policeman when he was recruited by Interpol. A policeman? Surely we can't go wrong with a policeman? 
For five years, he became the nightmare of criminals all around Europe, bringing down some of the world's biggest mob families. Hooray! Someone doing good. Actually putting bad guys away. But after an incident that Interpol denies ever happened, the Cypriot left the world of fighting crime behind him and took a year out. No. Not the policeman, too. When he reappeared, it was in America, racing and drag car of all things, but he has now been signed for an open wheel team. Run the footage. Well, that was the rules of this league and the drivers that will be taking part. Stay tuned to the channel and look out for the highlight show. And not just that. There will be the Behind the Pits show, hosted by Christy Winterbottom, where Christy will interview the drivers. Now it says, on this card, I meant to remind you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, so do that. Okay, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to start playing with my paperwork now as the closing credits come up. Mm -hmm.